All right, guys, so I got a mouse for Nevada. Now, she's plenty big. Whoa, mama, oh yeah. She's plenty. Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. Today's a lovely hot day in South Florida, like always, nothing new. There's been a little bit of rain earlier, but no rain right now. Now, today is gonna be an amazing video. I'm gonna be going through my clutches of eggs, talking a little bit about them, but of course I need some coffee to start off the video, get a little caffeine in my blood. Now. I go to FedEx to drop off the snakes to ship out to you wonderful people and it just so happens the gentleman that usually deals with me at FedEx started watching the channel and he loves the video so much he actually bought me a bag of coffee from Colombia, Colombian coffee. Now this one's already ground so I don't have to ground it. Normally I get my own beans and grind them up but this one's ready to go which is perfect because I don't have too much time to kill before the sun goes down. So I'm gonna throw this up real quick and I'll be right back. All right, so I got the coffee. Now, like always, I wanna make a toast that we're all healthy, enjoying life, enjoying the videos. Here's to you guys, and here's also to these lovely eggs that I'm gonna show you. Here's to all of us, oh yeah. And here, can't forget, here's to the gentleman at FedEx that got me this amazing coffee. Thank you so much. All right, so I'm not breeding for high numbers this season. You can see behind me, I got all the eggs. It's not a lot of eggs. I didn't bromate my corns this year. I was just testing something out and uh, I didn't like the results too much. I prefer definitely brumate the corns. It definitely helps. So maybe had a couple of females that didn't lay or laid slugs due to not having brumation. I got the timing off. So going forward, we're always going to brumate. But nonetheless, let me show you the first clutch of eggs. All right, so this first clutch, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful pearly whites. We have 11 good eggs. There's 10 in here. And one other one that I'm gonna show you is from Eleanor and Cactus. Eleanor, my beautiful, extreme buckskin okatee from South Mountain Reptiles. And the Sire Cactus, a salmon snow halo with that nice greenage around the saddles. Now, something that I'm excited about this clutch. I don't know exactly what the baby's gonna look like. Normally, I breed extreme okatee to extreme okatee or reverse okatee to a regular okatee. Now, this was an extreme buckskin okatee to a salmon snow halo. So, I'm hoping to hit some red factor okatees that they pull the red factor from cactus and get some red factor okatees maybe some halo okatees with the green around the saddles and you know what other than that i really don't know what to expect from this clutch and that's why i'm so so excited to see what they come out looking like 
Now let me show you one egg from this clutch that I separated. All right, so this is also from Eleanor and Cactus's clutch. Let me open this up for you guys. Now take a look. See something wrong with this one? So, this was the egg a while ago. I don't know if, if you've been watching my videos consistently, there was one egg that was molding a lot. When this egg came out, that side right there, it had a brown look to it, right out of the female. It had a brown look to it, and within days it was just molding really, really bad. So I tried a trick that I saw from Snake Discovery and talking to some other breeders. Wipe off all of that mold, mix a little Elmer's glue with foot powder, antifungal, and coat it real nice. That works for about a week. No mold, everything looked good, and then all of a sudden, the mold started creeping back, creeping back, and now, basically, I'm wiping the mold off every day. So every single day, clean it, it looks nice. The next day, it's covered only that one portion in mold. So that's what I'm doing, but I did candle the egg. The veins look good, so we're gonna keep this egg separated, and we're gonna see if it hatches out. If it does, I might have to give it a special name, but that's the moldy egg. So the next clutch of eggs comes from Pumpkin and Riddler. We did this pairing last year and got some amazing results. I have two holdbacks from last year, so I'm really excited to see what the babies look like this year. All right, so the next clutch is from Pumpkin and Riddler. Now this clutch had 14 good eggs and three slugs. Let me open this up real quick. Now give you guys a nice close look at this clutch. And something different about this clutch than the others, I'm using sphagnum moss. Just moistened a little bit. All the other, all the other um, bins I'm using vermiculite. I'm trying different things now, sphagnum moss. I'm gonna try some repti chip next year. I'm gonna mix it up, see what I like best. But this is a beautiful, beautiful clutch, as you can see. And now you know what? I did this pairing last season, and I got some amazing, amazing babies. I'll show you some pictures as I'm talking, and I held back a pair. And you know, I'm really excited to see. We might get some really, really extreme babies this year. And the skin tone from this pairing is a little bit lighter than the typical extreme avid to Oka tea. Like when I paired Riddler with Paprika, the skin tone's a little bit more orange, a darker orange with these probably from pumpkin the skin tone is just a little bit lighter i like both equally as much but they produce some really extreme babies so i'm really excited about this clutch and all of these clutches were laid in may so they should be hatching the last week of july going in to the first two weeks of august so i'm excited and that's right before the daytona expo so i'm gonna have my hands full Oh, oh yeah. This is a meal that I produced last season with pumpkin and Riddler. This one is het for Amel. Just an amazing, amazing looking Abbott's Oka tea, and real nice and extreme. Towards the tail, solid, solid black. Really sharp on colors. Boom! Oh yeah. No, I just love this girl's belly. Really, really beautiful. Now, <laughs> let
So now the next clutch of eggs I'm gonna show you come from these two, Pearl and Pink Panther. Pink Panther's from Lee Abbott and Pearl's from Don Sutterberg at South Mountain Reptiles. Got both of these as babies, raised them up. This is a first time pairing and look at Pearl, just an amazing, amazing girl. So there's only five eggs in this clutch. Now this is from Pearl and Pink Panther. If you like pink snakes, there should be some nice ones in this clutch. Just love pink on corn snakes. Now, last year I bred Pearl with Cactus. Cactus, my salmon snow halo. Pearl is a coral snow motley, both from South Mountain Reptiles. Now Pearl, has a whitish skin tone with pink in those little circles, those nice motley patterns. It really gives a lot of contrast, the white and the pink. Her skin tone is not too, too pink. So that white with the pinkish, it just creates a nice contrast. And a first time breeder, Pink Panther. Pink Panther I got from Lee Abbott. He's a salmon snow stripe. I mean, a salmon snow tessera. I don't know where the stripe came from. A salmon snow tessera has two copies of the red factor gene. He's really, really pink, a lot pinker than Pearl and a lot pinker than even Cactus, who I bred her to last year. So I'm really excited to see what the babies will look like. But I know with his dark pinks and Pearl's light white skin tone, we might get some really contrasting colors between the whites and maybe even a more enhanced pink. But that's the clutch and I'm really, really excited. My first time breeder Pink Panther bringing in the pinks. Boom, oh yeah. And I, as I was saying before, when I was showing you the eggs, you see, how her skin tone is like whitish. It's not straight white, it's like a pinkish white. And then her motley pattern is a nice soft pink. It creates like an amazing looking, just like a contrast. So can you imagine a snake with that light skin tone, but with even deeper pink markings? I think that would be amazing. Now that might not be how any of the babies come out, but that's what I'm hoping that at least one or two of them come out looking like. And inside her motley pattern is nice and white again. It's really a beautiful look. I just love this girl that I got from South Mountain Reptiles. So next up is this mystery clutch from Nevada. We just don't know who the sire is. It's either Vegas or Crimson. We haven't seen a lock between either one. No evidence, but we got good eggs. So this is going to be really fun to see who the father is. Now let's feed Nevada real quick and we'll talk about these eggs. All right, guys, so I got a mouse for Nevada. Now she's plenty big. Whoa, mama. Oh, yeah. She's plenty big, really, really big girl. She could even eat a bigger mouse than that, but that's a large mouse. I could feed her X breeders, but I'm not gonna do that. I don't want her to get too big. She's already pretty hefty. And she is the mother of that beautiful clutch. Oh yeah. All right, so I got the last clutch that I'm gonna be showing you right here we only have six good eggs in this clutch and this clutch was a big big surprise if you watched my last video i spoke about this clutch and this was the only clutch that was laid in june the beginning of june so these might hatch out a little bit more towards the middle of august there was about seven slugs and there are six good eggs now i didn't bromate her if i bromated her I probably would have got the timing a little bit better. I might have had a nice big clutch, but I can't complain. And the thing about this clutch is I don't know who the father is. I'm hoping that it's Vegas because that was the original pairing. 
But if it's crimson, we might get some Miami buffs with that orange in it. So I'm actually really excited. I don't know really who I would rather the father be. And it really doesn't matter at this point because I can't control it. But I'm just on the edge of my toes waiting to see when these hatch out. All right, guys, I'm so, so excited about these babies. About ready to hatch in about a month or so. Now I'm hungry. The breeze feels so nice. I got some flowers that I planted from little seeds two years ago. It's just starting to get ready to bloom. I'll show you those at the end of the video. Now I got a nice pizza waiting for me. I just ordered it. I don't eat pizza often. Since I left New York, Florida doesn't offer me good pizza, but this place is okay and I'm in the mood for pizza. Plus, I don't really have time to cook today doing this beautiful video for you guys. So I'm gonna keep you guys posted. And again, if you're going to Daytona, get your tickets ready, reserve your rooms. If you're coming from out of town, I think it's just about the best show on planet Earth. Now with that, I'm gonna go get my food, relax, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be safe. All right, so this first clutch, one of my most anticipating, anticipating. <laughs> Tongue twister. All right, guys, so this first clutch,